Hey, what's up, everyone? Saints fan back again with another new event week detail informational video. Today, we have a new vehicle. We have a bunch of really nice discounts and a new adversary mode with some double weight or some ways to make double GTA money. Before we actually hop into that, this is the final chance you have to enter my shark card giveaway. I'm giving away two shark cards. So if you guys want a chance to get some free money, then go on my Twitter and enter to win that shark card giveaway. Now the new car that we already knew, the Pifster Neon, it is the four door sport vehicle. That's an electric vehicle. I'll be doing a full review later on. The one thing I will say, the little promo that Rockstar put on their, their newswire actually is freaking awesome. Like I, I've said this before, but they've been on their game when it comes to promoting these new vehicles. But that one, I believe is like 1.5 million. So if you guys want that, you can buy it. Also, the new adversary mode, it's called Hardest Target. And what it says, as it turns out, those imaginary haters you're always ranting about are real, heavily armed, and totally out to get you. Jump into Hardest Target, a brand new mode, now available in GTA Online with a clean objective. Slaughter the other team's target and protect your own at all costs. Only the target's life matters, and you can rack up bonus points for target on target violence. So the gung-ho approach is strongly recommended. Keep an eye on the timer though. The designated target switches every minute, meaning you could find yourself attracting some unwanted attention at the drop of a hat. Earn double GTA money and RP in this adversary mode through February 5th. So we'll have to play that and, and see if it's any good. It, it does sound kind of interesting. So I'm curious to see how it all plays out. Maybe this is one of the better ones Rockstar put out. And then for the discounts, we got some pretty good ones. So the our CEOs and gun runners are set to profit 25% more on GTA money on special cargo deliveries, as well as have a 25% boost on gun running research and manufacturing. So if you're still doing research, if you haven't gotten it all, then you get 25% boost on that. But the most important part, you get 25% more on those deliveries. So that is definitely good news if you like to play those missions to make money and then the discounts go along with these bonuses so the bunker discounts the farmhouse bunker is 25 percent off the thompson scrapyard bunker is 25 percent off all bunker renovations are 25 percent off and then the mobile operation center cabs are 25 percent off as for the properties special cargo warehouses are 25 percent off and executive office renovations are 25 percent off and then we have vehicles and armor. The cargo bob is 35% off, which if you don't have that, I I would almost say buy it. The cargo bob is is very valuable in GTA Online. Also, the Starling, the, the plane is 25% off. Not anything special there. The Grotty Cheetah Classic is 25% off. That's a beautiful looking vehicle, but it does it, it's not the best in terms of performance. So that may be something you just buy for your garage. And then vehicle armor is 25% off and bulletproof tires are 25% off. Then we have the targeted sales. These are actually kind of decent. The Molotov, the Tula, and the Mogul are 40% off. And then the hangar renovations are 30% off. So if you get those targeted sales, you may want to purchase one of those vehicles or one of those planes. And then as always, they're going to have the premium race and time trial. Now one thing I've seen a lot lately, people are like, after they see these discounts, they're like, man, I literally just bought uh, a mobile operation center cab yesterday or something. Or they, they just bought, I don't know, one of the weeks someone bought, or many people seem to have bought the buzzard. And then like a day later, it went on sale. One day I'll tell you guys, and I, I feel like it's pretty obvious by now, never buy anything like on the weekends or, or on Monday. Buy whatever you're planning on buying once you know it's not going to be on sale like on Tuesday or Wednesday or something. Because then you'll feel less bad about buying something if it does go on sale the next week. But anyway, that, that's pretty much it with the event week. I think this is a pretty decent one. We got a, a great looking car. The adversary mode looks pretty decent. And the the ways to make money, you had some really good ways to make money. And the discounts are, are very good too. So... They sort of corrected themselves from last week. Last week was a pretty bad week, but this week they seem to be pretty good. But anyway, thank you all. Definitely check out the shark card giveaway in the description and be on the lookout for the neon review later on today. 
But as always, I'll see you guys. Well, thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.